What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 5 things with you guys that you may not know in GTA Online. So jumping straight into things and starting off with something which you may not know about the new Fist of Comet Retro Custom that of course was only released in GT Online last week on Thursday. That being there is no option in the custom shop whatsoever to change the license plate on the back of this car. By the looks of things, Rockstar have forgotten to add this option in the custom shop so unfortunately there is no way to physically change the license plate on this car. If you want to set a custom plate, what you need to do is set that license plate when you first purchase the Comet before you go to upgrade it either in your office garage or down at Benny's original motorworks. Otherwise, you're stuck with the standard plate this car comes with when you upgrade it. Now, although it's been snowing for a few days now in GTA Online, I have a quick tip or trick to share with you guys which will make driving in the snow much, much easier. That being to fit off-road tires to your vehicle. Although it is kind of obvious, by fitting off-road tires it will give you much better grip and traction on the road whilst driving around in the snow, which means when controlling your vehicle, especially around corners, it becomes a lot easier. Now although you can apply this tip or trick to any vehicle, I personally would recommend avoiding any vehicle that's two-wheel drive and likes to slide around a lot, things like the Tampa and the Comet Retro Custom. For the simple fact those vehicles aren't really suitable in the snow. Sure you can use this tip and it will make things a little bit easier for you but personally I would recommend using four-wheel drive vehicles. Most supercars for example have four-wheel drive, SUVs and stuff like that and if these vehicles do have the option to fit a spoiler to them definitely do so. It will also increase your traction as I'm sure you guys know making driving around in the snow even easier. The reason why I say this now is because many players over the past few days have been telling me why they don't like the snow. The main reason being because of the traction issue but by simply using a four-wheel drive vehicle with off-road tires, it's almost as if there is no difference between the snow and no snow. Anyway, but moving on to something else which you may also not know, this involving the new Fista Comet Retro Custom. This being, did you know that this vehicle is in fact slower than the standard Fister Comet? I guess in some ways it does make sense. After all, the Fister Comet Retro Custom is an older classic version of the Fister Comet, but it's slower in all ways, in its acceleration and its top speed. Now sure the difference itself isn't massive, we're talking maybe a mile an hour or two, but nevertheless it is slower and that's something which you guys may not know. And this in fact is a very similar situation with most of the custom variant vehicles available with the import and export update. The only exception being the Truffet Nero as the custom variant is slightly faster, but overall all the other vehicles which have a custom variant, you'll find that in a straight line, the custom variant is slower all round. Anyway, but moving on and up next, did you guys know that with the Festive Surprise 2016 update, the color of the fireworks you fire with your firework launcher have in fact changed? I did in fact notice this a few days ago in a live stream, but at the time wasn't really too sure whether it was a normal thing or not until you guys told me and confirmed they have in fact changed. You may recall back in 2014 when the firework launcher was first added into the game, the firework colors are white, red and blue, of course symbolizing the American flag colors. But with this update, the colors have in fact changed and the colors are now white, red, green and blue. These of course all being the colors you'd expect to see around Christmas. But finally, moving on to the last thing which you guys may not know. Now over the past few days, many of you guys, especially over on Twitter, have been asking me all sorts of questions about the snow. Firstly, when will it stop snowing in GT Online? That day in fact being today, December 26th. At some point later today, it will stop snowing in GTA Online. But do not worry, it's not the last time that it'll be snowing this year. And that moves me on to the second question many of you guys will be asking. Will it be snowing at any point later this year? And yes, it will be. It'll be snowing on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So on the 31st of December and then on January 1st. I'm not too sure if it's going to be snowing before then or after then. Rockstar haven't confirmed any of those days yet. But they have confirmed on the newswire we can expect some more snowfall on New Year's weekend. But who knows, although the snow will be removed from GT Online at some point later today, it may in fact begin snowing earlier than Rockstar have said on the newswire, just like the current snow 
Snowfall in GTA Online. But I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. But until then, guys, that's pretty much it then for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Those are five things in GTA Online that you may not know about. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about these by leaving a comment on this video. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could also drop a like on the video as well, as it helps me out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.